Atlantic Broadband Cable, in cooperation with the South Union Township Supervisors, presents the South Union Township Sports Network. Today, via tape delay from the South Union Township Rec Center, we bring you three games in the South Union Township Indoor Soccer League in the 8 and under division. Hi, everybody. I'm Brian Morozak alongside Jerry Dupain. We welcome you aboard for this afternoon's Youth Indoor Soccer League games. South Union Township Sports Network coverage is brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, Atlantic Broadband Cable, Armstrong Cable, and our friends at CU TV, including Gary Smith. You can also watch a replay of these games on YouTube by searching South Union Television. Again, I'm Brian Morozak with Jerry Dupain. We'll be back with the first game after these messages. Chessler's Furniture at 601 Pittsburgh Street, Uniontown has been in business since 1950 and has a wide variety of furniture for all of your needs. At Chessler's, they have a wide assortment of living room recliners, kitchen sets, bedroom mattresses and accessories that can decorate your home for years to come. Choose from many companies including Lazy Boy, Best, King Hickory, Hammery, Lancer, Wildwood, Von Bassett and White Dove. Chessler's also services what they sell. Stop into Chessler's Fine Furniture, Route 51 north of Uniontown and see Kim, Christy, Ted and Rich. They'll be happy to help you with all of your needs. Chessler's Furniture, where customers send their friends. Davis and Davis, attorneys at law. Every person who's been injured, when they come in, has an expectation that their case is important, and it is to us. We take these cases very seriously. So that experience that we have is unique also because we have experience in these communities, in Uniontown, in Washington, in Waynesburg, in these court systems. You don't have to go to Pittsburgh to be represented by attorneys who don't know their way around your community. Davis and Davis, Attorneys at Law. Turn to the experts. Fayette Furnace Company Incorporated, serving the Tri-County area since 1920, the area's oldest and most reliable heating and cooling contractor specializing in carrier equipment. Employee owned and operated, Choosing Fayette Furnace Company and Carrier not only gives you over 200 years of experience, but gives you the experts to help you solve your home's comfort needs. And call Fayette Furnace Company and Carrier to solve your home comfort needs today. Call 724-438-5400 or look up Fayette Furnace Company on the web at FayetteFurnaceCompany.com. Turn to the experts, almost 100 years of serving the Tri-County area. For more information, call Mike at 724-438-5400. At 724-438-5400 for Fayette Furnace Company.
Brian Morozak and Jerry Dupay back here at the South Union Township Rec Center ready for our first of three games here in the eight and under division. The Royal Blue team taking on the pink team and the pink team starts with the ball here on the near side. Michael Hardison trying to bring it down. Alina McClellan running into Michaels. The ball goes back on the pink's back line there to Brio Walkies. Blue team trying to regain here up top with Hardison and a little pressure coming back there from Alina McClellan down the far wing. Frieden up top. Ivan Jurassic and broken up here on the blue side with a little rush coming back there from Callie Solarchik. Callie playing it back there to Zoe Thorpe. And Liam, Liam McClellan trying to work out of her own zone. Little lob coming forward. Through Locker. Blue team again blocks it down here on the near side. Taking to the near boards. Hardison trying to work it out. Little poke there from Walkos out in front. And the save made out in front there on the pink side. Callie Solarchik again down on the far side trying to fight for positioning. Over to Michael Hardison. And played again back through center. Zoe Thorpe working it off there to Max Novak. A little pressure on the pink side. A little poke there from out in front from Walkos. Michael Cerullo in goal for the Royal Blue team. And the scrum ensues on the far wall. And the play whistled down. And we'll have a free kick here for the pink side. Little surge forward. Blue team trying to break out of their own zone. Nice little play there from Tyler Locker. Going over to the near wall. Battle here between Ellsworth and Walcos and a shot out in front in the opening goal scored by Michael Hardison. So Hardison getting the Royal Blue team on the board first. They lead one to nothing. 9.45 left here in the first half. Lena McClellan getting things started again. Sending it off on the far side. Dive in Jurassic. Played back to Locker. A little pressure again there on the blue side from Callie Solarchik. Callie, the nephew of our colleague Nick Barchek, or niece, excuse me, of our colleague Nick Barchek. A little poke there on the pink side. Knocked down out in front again. A little pressure right on top of the goal, but the play whistled down. Once again, it was Hardison in the box. Showing a good surge there on the blue side. Goal kick here for the pink team. Knocked down, played on the pink's back line there to Walkos. Two Walkoses for the pink side. Brela and Kaylee. Goes over to the far side. Callie Solarchik trying to work it out of the corner. Goes back to the pink team's goalie. And flicked forward, now to Lena McClellan. McClellan down the near wing. Rush slowed down there. Blue team again tries to work it up to Solarchik. Again played back to the goal. Blue team up one to nothing early on on a goal from Michael Hardison. Again worked down the near side, touched there by Alina McClellan. Blue team finding it again, Hardison breaking back on the far side. Off there to Carson Wise. Wise looking to center, has Solarchik out in front. Four pink players around her. Touched off over to Callie Solarchik. And Kaylee Walkos playing it back and it'll roll back to the blue goal. Knocked down there by Alina McClellan. Touched along by Edger Rios. Pink team resetting. Brilly Walkos. Touched back there by Charlie Skaronski on the Royal Blue team. Callie Solarchik trying to dig it out. Another touch there from Skaronski. 
back to Solarchik out in front, cleared out in front. Carson Wise there along with Solarchik on the far side, played back to center. Skaronski back defensively, a little touch. Going off of Kaylee Walkos, again on the far side. Solarchik looking to center along with Carson Wise. Played out in front, a little touch there from Hardison just going wide. Getting over the corner boards. Pink team trying to work it out of their own zone. Walkos a little touch. On the back line again, McClellan in open space. Goes on the far side, Carson Wise looking for the loose ball there for the blue team with McClelland adding some pressure there on the pink side. Walkos missing there on a heel. McClellan a low shot, blocked out in front. And played out again to Charlie Skaronski. Skaronski a little poke. Looking forward there again for Hardison. Touch there by Alina McClelland. Hardison playing back and angling it wide. Over to Ivan Jurassic. And a little pressure down on that far wing by Carson Wise. Wise looking to center. Blocked on the far side. Ball comes loose. Blue team again trying to set it up. Coming over Solarchik, a little touch. Pink team able to clear it out. Alina McClellan trying to break back. A little touch there from Skaronski. Played back on to Cali Solarchik. Walkos there defensively. Blue team trying to break out again with Carson Wise. Wise getting a little help with Skaronski, trying to play it forward there to Solarchik. Goes back along the corner boards again as Walkos looks to clear it out. Again knocked down in front by, by Solarchik. Angling on the far side again to Wise. Wise trying to dig it out of the corner boards. Fronted there by McClellan, who's covered a lot of ground in this game so far for the pink side. Skaronski low shots, and pink team again making the save. Pressure there again from Solarchik out in front. And the pink team trying to break back again with Walkos. Blue team bringing Zoe Thorpe into the game for the first time, and Thorpe there battling with Alina McClelland. Carson Wise on the far side. Touch back along there by Tyler Locker. He played back towards the goal. Angled out here over the near wall to Alina McClellan. Back to Walkos. Pressure this time by Skaronski. Skaronski breaking top of the box. Plays it off on the far side again to Carson Wise, and Wise pulls it back to center. Solarchik now on the back line, trying to dig it out with McClellan in her face. Angled off there to Zoe Thorpe. Touch back again by Walkos. Rios trying to help it along again for the pink side as well as Skaronski tries to dig it out. Skaronski back into the pink team zone. Here's Charlie Skaronski leading the break. Skaronski low shot. Save made out in front of the cover by the pink keeper. Played out, Skaronski again knocks it down, low shot and right out in front, Hardison just missing on a deflection. Sent over on the near wall to Walkos. Back up top to Skaronski. Touch off by McClelland. Resetting back to Solarchik, a little pressure from McClelland. And into open space again, Walkos. Back line to Solarchik, 326. Left here in the first half, lone goal of the game, scored by the Royal Blue team and Michael Hardison. Kylie Walkos playing it up there to Alina McClelland. Little trip up there, Skaronski. Little pressure, shot on goal, and another save made out in front and the cover on the pink side. Been a competitive game here so far in the first time. Brian Morozak alongside Jerry Dupay. Nice to have you along with us here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Another knockdown out in front. That was Hardison just sending it wide. Skaronski pressuring on as the ball taken towards the corner boards. Walkos trying to clear it out. Little touch there from Rios. Played back again by Hardison. And the pink team with a cover barely inside the goal box there. And keep it alive. On the throw out, they'll go out on the near side to Walkos. Skaronski again, a little bit of pressure. Skaronski trying to break back. Skaronski, a lot of pressure here in the box. McClellan breaking it up, trying to get help. And another cover made out in front. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. 
Pink team again will bounce out. Skaronski knocks it down. Skaronski fires and scores. Charlie Skaronski. His first of the game. So goals from Skaronski and Hardison have the Royal Blue team on top of the pink team. Two to nothing. 153 left here in the first half. McClellan getting things started again. Angled on the far side there to Rios. And played back towards the goal. Out to Callie Solarchik. Callie a little touch. Alina McClellan there. Trying to blast away. Solarchik knocking it down out in front. And Callie trying to dig it out here along the near wall. Blue team, another break here for Michael Hardison, who gets his second of the match. So two from Michael Hardison. Here in the first half, the Royal Blue team off to a three to nothing lead over the pink team. We'll touch back for McClellan. Off on the near side of Kaylee Walkos. Walkos playing it back. Off of Callie Solarchik, forward again to Skaronski. Skaronski a little touch. Broken up by Rios. Off on the far side of Carson Wise. Wise resetting. Rios forward to McClellan again. Back to Rios. There's Solarchik trying to free up Hardison and Skaronski. It's Skaronski on this shot, blocked out in front. 20 seconds left here in the first half. Wise trying to dig it out of the corner. While still tied up along the back wall. McClellan trying to break back. Walkos there on the far side along with McClellan down to two down to one, and that'll do it for the first half. All Royal Blue team early. They lead three to nothing over the pink side. We're back with second half match action right after this on the South Union Township Sports Network. Creditors calling you day and night? Your debt overwhelms you? Although you may feel that you're in a hopeless situation, Zebli Mahalov and White can help. We're a full-service local bankruptcy firm that knows what a difficult time this is and what to do to help you get a fresh start. Call Zebli Mahalov and White today for a free consultation. Your hometown bankruptcy firm. Call us today. Don't borrow more money until you talk to Zebli Mahalov and White. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad, because people are busy these days, at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service.
Underway with the second half. Blue team, a three to nothing lead over the pink team. A little pressure here from Tofi on the pink side and the save made there by Carson Wise, who's now in goal for the blue team. Dug back out, Skaronski trying to play it forward there for the blue side. Edgar Rios and Michael Cerullo battling along the far side. Pink team down three, trying to get back into it. Here's Skaronski coming back on the blue side, going down out in front. Pink playing it back there to McClelland. Kali Solarchik defensively there for the blue side. Tofi there on the pink side. Play whistle down. Might have an injury timeout. That's Tyler Locker down there for the pink team. So Locker being attended to 10.56 left in regulation time. Blue team a three to nothing lead over the pink team. Blue team getting two goals from Michael Hardison and one from Charlie Skaronski. And Locker helped off, hope he's all right. We play on. A little pressure here from McClelland. Go back to the blue keeper and Carson Wise making the save. Wise sending it out. Jurassic there for the pink side along with Toffee. And Toffee bringing it down the far wing. Skaronski trying to turn it back there for the blue side. And Toffee again back down on the far side. Toffee looking to center. Defending there on the blue side, Max Novak along with Michael Hardison. And it's Hardison leading another rush. Hardison, low shot, Skaronski out in front, sends it in. Second of the game for Charlie Skaronski. And the blue team, a four to nothing lead over the pink team. With 10.04 left here in regulation time. First of three here today for you in the South Union Township Sports Network all on the under eight-year-old division of a game between the green team and the light blue team and the red team taking on the white team for you later on today. Carson Wise sending it out here on the near side. Over to Charlie Skaronski. Played back there to Zoe Thorpe. Thorpe trying to send it along there with Callie Solarchik. Goes back to the keeper, Carson Wise. Wise trying to work it out again to Michael Hardison. Hardison double teamed along the far wall. Looking to center, Charlie Skaronski breaking back. Skaronski low shot, and he gets his third of the match. Hat trick for Skaronski, all Royal Blue right now. They lead it five to nothing. 9-14 left here in regulation time. Again, if you miss any of our broadcasts on Atlantic Broadband Channel 17 or Armstrong Channel 61, all of our broadcasts also available on our YouTube page by searching South Union TV. Ivan Jurassic back there on the pink side. Send four to Lena McClelland. Off to Braley Walkos. In the open space, Michael Hardison. Hardison already has two goals. He just has his third right there. So three for Hardison, three for Skaronski. Royal Blue team running away, up six to nothing. 8.30 left here in the second half. Both teams still playing hard out there. Good to see. Competitive youth soccer action here at the South Union Township Rec Center. Just terrific participation here again this year. Full days of action both Saturday and Sunday. Another shot out in front. That's the fourth of the match for Hardison. So Michael Hardison playing a heck of a match. Four goals for the Royal Blue team. Now lead it seven to nothing. It's 7.55. Left here in the second half. Toffee getting restarted here for the pink team. They try to reset. Low shot, Skaronski blocks it down. Low roller back towards the pink goal. Lobbed out again here to Toffee on the back line. Touch to Rilo Walkos. And Toffee trying to work down the near wall. Run into there by Michael Cerullo. And open space, McClellan an opportunity here out in front. 
And getting a nice block there, Skaronski helping out his keeper, Wise. Back through the midfield, Jurassic on the far side. He'll touch back to Toffee. Toffee breaking back. Played back by Skaronski. Over to Max Novak. On the far wall, Skaronski. And Cerullo looking to center. Skaronski, another block. That's going to be a handball outside the box. Free kick here for the blue team. It'll be Callie Solarchik. Take the free kick. We'll back the wall up for the pink team. So Larchick a blast, went off the side wall, loose on the far side. Pink team finds it there with Jurassic trying to break out. Touch there from Toffee, sent down along the far wing. Toffee looking to center, fronted there by Skaronski, and Skaronski will break back here for the blue side. Skaronski down the far wing, has Solarchik to his right. Skaronski tripped up, trying to help it along there was Torello. Jurassic back along the far wall. Touch there again from Hardison. Hardison low shot, and that's the fifth goal of the match for Michael Hardison. Playing a heck of a match here for the blue team. Five goals for Hardison. They'll give him a much needed rest. And it'll be Novak back in on the blue side. Novak a little touch. A little pressure here on the pink side. Ball loose out in front, and it's Toffee that scored the goal. So Toffee getting the first of the match there for the pink side. It's 8-1. to 5.09 left here in the second half. Put it back down at center. Blue team will blast it away this time with Michael Cerullo. Back towards the pink's goal. Lobbed out here on the near side, down the near wall, Toffee. Toffee, another nice break, low shot, and Toffee gets his second of the match. No two for Toffee, it's eight to two. And 4.30 left here in the second half. Good to see the pink team trying to get back into this one late. Cerullo getting it restarted. Played back to Skaronski. Deflection off there to Toffee. Another break back, Solarchik low shot, blocked out in front. Cowley's played a nice match for the Royal Blue team. Pink team looking to center back out in front. Little touch there from McClelland. Played out there by Carson Wise. Play whistled down, might have been a handball there out in front. A free kick for the blue team. Skaronski takes the blast, went off a of toffee over to McClelland. Skaronski sent McClellan down. She lost a shoe as Hardison looks to break back again. Michael Hardison again down the far wing. Hardison's played a heck of a match. That time blocked out in front. Rolled out here on the near side. We back off of Novak. Over to Toffee. Toffee trying to stay with it. Going down there was Skaronski. Off on the far side to Jurassic. Touch there from Cerullo. Sent wide, Hardison. And going down there was McClelland. 2.39 left here in the second half. Free kick from midfield. Going off the wall. 
A little help there on the back line from Hardison. Michael Sorulo also there. Skaronski might have tripped up Toffee. And free kick here for the pink side. Toffee wide to Lena McClellan down the near side. will poke back going off of Novak. Novak looking to clear. Far side, Cerullo lobbing it off the wall. Knocked down by Toffee. A lot of traffic along the far side. Solarchik down the far wing. Solarchik trying to stay with it. The save made out in front. 90 seconds left here in regulation time of our first of three here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Full pressure out in front. Shot there from Cali again. Another pink save. And a lot back. Another blast and a goal. Now it's Hardison again. Six goals for Michael Hardison. Now a 9-2 lead for the Royal Blue team over the pink team. Scored six here in the second half. Forty-five seconds left. Ping team trying to dig it out. Toffee scoring both of the goals again on the ping side. And we mentioned Hardison with six and Skaronski with three. For the Royal Blue team. Touch there from Skaronski. McClellan trying to play it back. A little pressure from Solarchik. Get an open space. Touch there from Hardison. Wide to Novak. Played back over to Jurassic. And that'll do it. Final three seconds. Your final score, the Royal Blue Team 9, the Pink Team 2. And we're back with our second match of the day right after this on the South Union Township Sports Network. cancer is the second leading cause of cancer deaths. Signs include abdominal pain and rectal bleeding. Colon cancer develops from a degenerating benign growth or polyp. Doctors performing colonoscopy are able to remove precancerous polyps, thus preventing colon cancer. This saves lives, and the American Cancer Society now recommends that everyone have a colonoscopy every 10 years, beginning at age 50. Offer the latest diagnostic testing SWGI, Specialists in Digestive Health. Southwestern Endoscopy Center is a state licensed and Medicare certified facility and emphasizes privacy, comfort, caring, and safety for colonoscopies and upper GI endoscopies. Painless procedures are done with twilight sedation given by a board-certified anesthesiologist. The center accepts most insurance plans and is staffed by Drs. Ruth Hart, Calabrese, Stokes, SWGI, specialists in digestive health. Kessler's Furniture at 601 Pittsburgh Street, Uniontown has been in business since 1950 and has a wide variety of furniture for all of your needs. At Chessler's, they have a wide assortment of living room recliners, kitchen sets, bedroom mattresses and accessories that can decorate your home for years to come. Shoes for many companies including Lazy Boy, Best, King Hickory, Hammery, Lancer, Wildwood, Von Bassett and White Dove. Chessler's also services what they sell. Stop into Chessler's Fine Furniture, Route 51 north of Uniontown, and see Kim, Christy, Ted, and Rich. They'll be happy to help you with all of your needs. Chessler's Furniture, where customers send their friends.
Getting ready for our second of three matches here today. The light blue team taking on the green team. Coin toss just concluded. 12 minutes up on the scoreboard clock. Royal blue team defeated the pink team in our opening of three matches here today by a score of nine to two. It'll be Robert Newman to get things started here for the green team, talking to Connell Stevenson. Chrissy Newman, the head coach of the green team. Ken France, the head coach of the light blue team. Light blue team with Abigail Lavish in goal. Boston Workman, the keeper for the green team. And the green team will get things started. And it's set off here on the near side. It was actually started there by Robert Newman over to Connell Stevenson. Touch back by Stevenson. Angled wide down the far side to Amari McGee. McGee resetting back there to Stevenson. Pressure there from Jacob Massey. Stevenson staying with it. Will touch back on the light blue side as they try to break back. Defensively there, Stevenson trying to free up Amari McGee. Ball rolls back to Abigail Lavish who makes the save and sends it off on the far side there for the light blue team. Touched there by Piper Schrock. Played back again on the far side by Amari McGee. Light blue team looking for a little pressure here and the save made by Boston Workman, the green team's keeper. Camilla France stepping up there on the light blue side, but it's Robert Newman trying to lead the break back. Out in front there was McGee fanning on it. Ball comes into open space. We're slow down there by Elijah Harrington. Harrington goes down. A little contact there, and I think it's going to be a free kick for the light blue team. Scoreless, we've played 75 seconds. Taking the blast here, Jacob Massey. Blocked out in front. That was Elijah Harrington trying to work it down the near wall. Milo LaRue. There on the light blue side. Touch back there by Stevenson. Into open space. McGee looking to center. Played off the wall and the save made and sent out there by Camilla France. A little pressure there from Stevenson. Stevenson stepping in and getting the opening goal of the match. Connell Stevenson getting the green team on the board first. They lead one to nothing. 10-05. Left here in the first half, light blue team making a change. Ariel Kements checking in along with Brantley Casper for the first time. Getting things restarted was Massey. Amari McGee quickly getting a piece of it there for the green set. Played open to Stevenson. And along the corner. Commence trying to dig it out there on the light blue side. 9.30 left here in the first half. Connell Stevenson goal has the green team on top, one to nothing. A touch off there from McGee. Works off to his right looking for open space. Now McGee goes down, light blue team tries to break back. A little open space here on the run, Jacob Massey. Massey looking to center, trying to pull it back. Had Ariel Commence in the vicinity. Green team tries to reset there with Connell Stevenson. Played back off to Piper Schrock. Spun off there by Camilla France. Touch back by Schrock. Loose out in front. Stevenson there trying to fire. A couple guys going down top of the box. And actually had a collision behind the play as the green team was making a substitution. Touch there from Kara Stewart who just checked in. And rolls back to the... Keeper there, Boston Workman. Sends it out to Stevenson down the near side. Cross blocked out in front. Green team trying to get back on it. Stevenson again helping it along. Loose out in front there, McGee. McGee trying to step back in with Brantley Casper in defensively. Casper trying to set up France down the far wall as the green team makes another change on the fly. Hold deflection out in front. Save made there by Workman. Sent out to McGee. 8.02 left here in the first half. McGee touch off there to Tucker Peru over to Stevenson. Stevenson low shot blocked out in front there by Lavish. Lavish a little lob down the far side. Again intercepted by Peru. Tucker Peru 
Trying to help it along there. I think the green team actually made a change in goal. It's like Boston Workman. He was in goal actually out in the field and Workman played it off the wall. I think the new keeper number eight, Dominic Romeo. Romeo now in goal on the green side. My blue team plays it out here to Jacob Massey. Touch back there from Connell Stevenson. Brantley Casper trying to reverse it back here for the light blue team. Tucker staying with it. Over to Workman and back to Tucker again. Tucker trying to work it off to his right, broken up there. A little surge coming back here on the light blue side, broken up there by Maria O'Brien and the save made by Dominic Romeo. Romeo doing a nice job there, solid stop. Down to McGee, set up to Workman with a blast of the goal. Boston Workman, who got the start in goal, now gets a goal of his own to put the green tee on top. Two to nothing, 6.36 left here in the first half. Milo LaRue and Gavin Price back in on the light blue side as they make a change. Down two, almost midway through this first half. Under eight action, our second of three. Royal Blue team defeated the pink team earlier, nine to two. They were led by Michael Hardison, who scored six goals, and Charlie Skaronski had three. Battle on the near wall, Elijah Harrington. Angled off here at Ariel Commence. Commence and Workman. Battling in open space. Tucker a little touch. Off there to Brantley Casper. Played back to Elijah Harrington. Off there again to Connell Stevenson. Back to LaRue. Going low, knocked down there by Tucker Peru. Elijah Harrington pinning it up. And a stoppage along the far side with 5.15 left before halftime. Free kick here for the light blue side. They're making another change as Piper Schrock re-enters. And Schrock will take the free kick. That touched it twice. I think they'll give her another opportunity. Of course, can't make that initial pass to yourself. This time we'll send it down the field. Over to Gavin Price. Price looking to center. Touch back there by Maria O'Brien down the far wall, trying to free up Robert Newman. Newman trying to work through traffic. Touch there from Kara Stewart. Peru trying to send it back, and another big save from Dominic Romeo. Romeo, a couple of big stops since he's been in nets. Newman trying to play it back. Ken sent down the far side. Touch there by Price. Scooped up again by Romeo. Romeo sending it off, looking for Elijah Harrington. Harrington trying to reverse it up the field. Played back by Camilla France. Harrington down on the play, might have a handball or dangerous play situation. Be a stoppage, free kick. Be an infraction there on the green side, like blue team gets the free kick, sent up through Gavin Price. Played back by Maria O'Brien. In front, Tucker Peru, a little touch. Brantley Casper coming back there on the light blue side. Casper trying to angle it wide there to Camilla France. France touching it off of Price. Sent back along the near wall. Played back by Peru. Off of Casper. Newman pressuring it on. A touch there from O'Brien. Over to Newman. Newman now going down on the play here for the green side. Now he'll try to stay in the match. Peru down the far wall. Amari McGee back in for the green team. Gets a quick touch. Amari trying to circle it back. And touch out in front. Amari trying to stay with it. We go under three minutes left here in the first half. Two to nothing lead. For the green team over the light blue team, goals from Connell Stevenson and Boston Workman. With a shot out in front, rolling back here to Dominic Romeo. 
Romeo sending it out on the near side to Mari McGee. McGee down, McGee down the near wing, running into Milo Aru. Light blue trying to reset again off to Piper Schrock. And rolled back into the green team zone. Helped along by France, looking to center. Blocked there by Workman. Played forward again to McGee. McGee again back down the near wing, trying to stay with it. LaRue defending. Touched off of Kara Stewart. Back there again to Boston Workman. Workman back through center. Spun down. Top of the box, looking for a little clear out. Far side McGee battling there with Newman. Lacrosse out in front, and save made by Abigail Lavish. Lavish out to France, 152 left here in the first half. France a little touch ahead, spun back by Massey. Massey run into a double team, down on the play there was Tucker Peru. And a free kick. Coming up here for the green side, Cara Stewart to take it. No, it's gonna be, which way is it gonna go? Players confused, referees have made a clear signal. It's gonna be a free kick for the green team. That's what we initially thought. Stewart will take it, sends it low, blocked back down by Brantley Casper. Going off a workman, trying to angle wide on the far side. 75 seconds left here in the first half, still two to nothing. Green over the light blue team. Back along the wall. Green team trying to dig it out. Peru back through center. Tucker trying to spin it off. Piper Schrock sitting it off the wall, and it's Tucker Peru getting the goal. So Tucker getting the third of the match for the green team. And have also gotten goals from Connell Stevenson and Boston Workman. It's three to nothing. Thirty-four seconds left before halftime. Light blue team looking for a late surge here to end the first half. Knocked down by Workman. Workman back through center. Played back there by Piper Schrock. Green team with 15 seconds left here in the first half, trying to break back. Get in open space, Connell Stevenson. Got knocked down. Ball comes loose up top. Opportunity there for Workman, another save from Abigail Lavish, and that'll do it for the first half. Three to nothing, the green team leading the light blue team. We're back with second half match action in just a moment. Our second of three here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Davis and Davis, attorneys at law. Important for people to know that we represent injured people to the best of our ability, and we've been successful doing that. And I don't say that to have people come to see us because we have been successful. I say that because it's true and it's important. Another important aspect is the experience that we have is local experience, experience in the court system in Uniontown, in Washington, in Waynesburg. Davis and Davis, attorneys at law. Turn to the experts. Fayette Furnace Company Incorporated, serving the Tri-County area since 1920, the area's oldest and most reliable heating and cooling contractor, specializing in carrier equipment. Employee owned and operated, choosing Fayette Furnace Company and Carrier not only gives you over 200 years of experience, but gives you the experts to help you solve your home's comfort needs. And call Fayette Furnace Company and Carrier to solve your home comfort needs today. Call 724-438-438. 5400 or look up Fayette Furnace Company on the web at FayetteFurnaceCompany.com. Turn to the experts, almost 100 years of serving the Tri-County area. For more information, call Mike at 724-438-5400. That's 724-438-5400 for Fayette Furnace Company.
back here at the South Union Township Rec Center. Brian Morozak alongside Jerry Dupe ready for the second half. Green team, light blue team action in the eight and under division. Here today on the South Union Township Sports Network. Nice to have you along with us, whether you're watching on Atlantic Broadband Channel 17, Armstrong Channel 61 on our YouTube page. It's easy to find. Just search South Union TV. I actually had an inquiry about our YouTube page during halftime of this match. The search South Union Television, South Union TV, very easy to find. All the matches posted up there as soon as they're ready for airing on TV as well. We also post the updates on our South Union TV Facebook page as well, facebook.com slash South Union TV. Follow along with all the coverage here with South Union Township, Laurel Highland School District, and other local programs around the area throughout the course of the season. Battle on the near wall here early on in the second half. Again, a three to nothing lead for the green team over the light blue team. Camilla French trying to dig it up, try to send it forward there to Abigail Lavish, who spent the first half in goal. Gavin Price now the goalie for the light blue team. Green team trying to dig it out here on the near side with both Elijah Harrington and Robert Newman there. And Gavin Price making the save and sending it out. On the break there to Camilla France. France trying to center, blocked there by Connell Stevenson and sent back to center. Played along by Jacob Massey. Over to France and back to Connell Stevenson. Piper Schrock. A little send back. Stevenson in open space. Daddle on the far side. Piper Schrock trying to dig it out. Jacob Massey trying to break down the far wall. Massey trying to center. Ball comes loose top of the box. And Marie O'Brien on the send out. Resetting now for the late blue team, Camilla France. Out there to Piper Schrock, and in the interception, the blast and the goal from Connell Stevenson. Wow. Stevenson right on that one. On the side of the box, sending it past Gavin Price to make it four to nothing. Green team over the light blue team with 9.28 left here in the second half. And Jacob Massey will get things restarted. And he played back here to Milo LaRue. Touch off there by Milo and played back by Amari McGee. Green team leading the rush back. Nice little sidestep. A little blast off the side of the goal. Price looking to cover. A little pressure there out in front from Boston Workman before Price made another save. They'll roll it down here for a goal kick on the light blue side. It'll actually be Piper Schrock to send it up the field to Jacob Massey. Down to Ariel Commence. A lot of traffic out in front there, broken up by Amari McGee. Taken back to the near wall again, the play whistled down. With 18 left in regulation. Another free kick upcoming. Taken here on the green side. Body down by LaRue. Green team trying to reverse it back here with Tucker Peru. Tucker back along the far side. Tucker looking across. Tucker staying with it. Trying to step up there is Milo Aru. Tucker coming forward. Chipped off the boards by Massey. Played back again by Tucker. He's trying to free it up to McGee. There's Tucker, another break, low shot, Price the save. And set wide on the wall. Might be a foul there on LaRue. A little body contact there on Workman. Took him to the boards. Workman will take the free kick. No, right off of LaRue. 
Milo, good player out there. Not afraid to play a little aggressive. Spun off there to Ariel Comments. In the center out in front. Save made there by Romeo. He'll put it off the back of Stevenson. Stevenson able to regain and go cross field on the far side to McGee. McGee back in the light blue zone off a little deflection out in front. Workman there. Workman trying to reverse and Workman got flipped down out in front. And free kick. Green team to take it, prime scoring opportunity. Price making another save. Price now sending it out here on the near side. Abigail Lavish. Pressure there by Connell Stevenson. Getting an open space, low shot there by Casper, broken up. Coming back there, Fanning was lavish. Sent back on the near side, a little touch coming wide. A little blast, again broken up there by Price. And Price now on the cover with a little slide out in front from Robert Newman. Light blue team making another change. Camilo of France back in. 547 left in regulation. Price goes low. Knocked down by France. Another save again from Price. Price on the lob out. Again blocked down this time by Robert Newman. Newman low chip. Price again another save. Another body down off the near post and broken up. And there again by Price. Send forward to Brantley Casper. Casper on the far wall. Connell Stevenson. Angling it off the near boards. Back along the wall. Another cross out in front going right through the box there from Workman. Stevenson trying to regroup now from the far side. That one going right back to Price again, who makes another save. Both goalies have done a nice job here in this game. Romeo coming in for Boston Workman, who blinked the light blue team early on. And despite the fact that Price has given up a few, really has stood tall in goal throughout the course of the afternoon for the light blue team. Chip up there from Schrock. Light blue team trying to create a little action here in the green team's box. The green team has controlled the majority of the ball throughout much of this match as well. France again looking to center. Green team trying to break back out. Old chip back there from Schrock. Green team leading another break. Another cross going right through the box. Reset back on the near side here to France. Touch there from Lavish. Green team playing it along again. Another opportunity there from Workman. Never got to goal. Ariel Comence down the far wing for the light blue team. Can't get it out of the zone. Trying to work back there was Peru. Check that, that was Newman. Went down, chipped back again by France. Going towards the goal, sent out again by Romeo. Back to center. Forward to Newman. Down on the far side. Green team looking across there from Stevenson. Blocked down from Schrock. 340 left in regulation. Still three to nothing. Green team over the light blue team. Haven't had a goal scored on either side here in the second half. Camilla France blasting it back to center. Stevenson there. Stevenson trying to lead the rush back up. Stevenson between defenders trying to stay with it. Lose top of the box. Crashing in there is Newman. Save from Price. Newman gets it back again. Second opportunity again broken up. And French trying to work out here for the light blue side. France, a little open space. Got, put, got past two defenders. Got past three. France, another opportunity. Blocked out in front. Another chip. And the goal there from Milo Aru. So Myla getting the first goal of the match for the light blue side. They're back to within two, still a match at three to one with three minutes left in regulation. Light blue team makes a couple of quick changes. It's not a legal kickoff there from Newman. Now we'll get it started. Angling it off there to Lavish. Night blue team trying to get two more here late. Down to a three to one. Lavish down the near wing to Jacob Massey. Broken up again by Stevenson. Stevenson looking to center. Over there to Mari McGee. Prime opportunity, another big save from Price. 
Noise Price had some big stops. More action out in front of him. Another little poke out. Price might end up being the losing goalie here today, but he has had some huge stops to keep his team in this match. Really have to be happy with his play and Massey tripping up McGee. That'll be a foul. 147 to play, clock stops. After that infraction. One more match as far as our coverage is concerned here on the South Union Township Sports Network. The red team will take on the white team. Nicole Baker coaching the red team. Sean Kreshak coaching the white team. That coming up, our third of three here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Back underway, three to one score here. Green team leading the light blue team. Light blue team looking for a little added pressure here in the final 90 seconds. Played back towards center. A we'll chip up there for Massey. Jacob Massey staying with it. Massey trying to work back into the green team zone. A lot of defenders around. Massey trying to free it up again. Ball was loose there for a moment in the box. The green team regaining possession. Trying to work back through center. 59 seconds. Left here in regulation time. Stevenson trying to work it out. Stevenson another blast and he gets his third of the match. Hat trick for Connell Stevenson. Now four to one. And check that, it should be, might have missed a goal somewhere up on the scoreboard. I actually have it as five to one right now. I think the scoreboard's a goal short. I have Stevenson with three, Peru with two, and Workman, or Peru with one and Workman with one. Should actually be five to one, not four to one as the scoreboard's indicating. And here's the green team looking for another break. Coming back, and they'll get another one here late. That's Tucker getting his second. So I think they missed one up on the scoreboard. Should be six to one. Green team over the light blue team. And that'll do it. So the green team defeats the light blue team six to one. We're back with our third of three right after this here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Creditors calling you day and night? Your debt overwhelms you? Although you may feel that you're in a hopeless situation, Zebli Mahalov and White can help. We're a full-service local bankruptcy firm that knows what a difficult time this is and what to do to help you get a fresh start. Call Zebli Mahalov and White today for a free consultation. Your hometown bankruptcy firm. Call us today. Don't borrow more money until you talk to Zebli Mahalov and White. did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad, because people are busy these days, at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service. I'm Rozak, Jerry Dupay, back here at the South Union Township Rec Center, ready for our third of three here in the under eight-year-old division. Red team taking on the white team. Red team will get things started. Reese Hankins will send it away, wearing number 10. Reese will chip it off there on the far side. This match gets underway. Again, 12 minutes up on the scoreboard clock. Saw the Royal Blue team defeat the pink team 9-2 in the opening match. Green team 6-1 win over the light blue team in the second of three being played here today. We'll play out there for Mason Zebro. Over to Brooklyn Baker. Lincoln Hare back on the white side. Trying to work down the far wall with Matthew Mahoney. And Ryan Moore trying to turn it back. Player down there on the white side. Well, an early free kick. White team to take it. 
Aubrey Long, the goalie for the red team. And along that far side, blasted back there by Zebro. Spun back into open space. And taken along the near wall by Braxton Baker. The ball tied up now. Both teams trying to dig it out. Referee will whistle it down. Might be a drop ball here if there was no infraction. Or a free kick whistled here in favor of the white team. Just a minute 20 in, both teams feeling each other out. Riley Klink sending it back down, a little pressure, a little shot in the goal from Brooklyn Baker. So Brooklyn Baker, a little early pressure on Maddox Tungates, who's in goal on the white side. And Baker giving the white team, or the red team, excuse me, a one to nothing lead. So Baker getting it past Tongue Gates. Red team striking first. Back underway and Brooklyn Baker going right back at it. Running in there to Hareli Patterson. On the far wall. Reese Hankins trying to dig it out. Touched there by Baker. And played back out. Knocked down there by Riley Klink. Over to Baker. I find Reese Hankins. Maddox Mahoney. Touch off there to Patterson. Brooklyn Baker. Looking to work back. A touch off on top there to Hankins. And the second goal for the red team. So goals from Brooklyn Baker and Reese Hankins. And the red team have an early two to nothing lead over the white team. Again, a reminder, all of our broadcasts available, not only on Atlantic Broadband Channel 17, Armstrong Channel 61, but a part of the YouTube page as well. By searching South Union Television. You can also follow all of our broadcasts and updates on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash South Union TV, certainly an exciting time of the year. The Laurel Highlands boys basketball team headed to the playoffs, and we'll have all of the late season, Mustang regular season, and postseason games for you on the network as well. And before you know it, it'll be time for high school baseball again. A touch there from Luke Brenzi. Down along the far side, O'Reilly Patterson trying to work it back out with a low blast. Loose out in front, Tungate making the save. And Maddox will lob it off there on the far side. Luke Brenzi, a little touch back, played there by Patterson. On the red team's back line, Mason Zebro a touch. Might have been a handball, it was there on Mahoney. And a free kick. And 7.50 left here in the first half. Be taken by Hankins. Heeled back over to Zebro. Kind of work it down the far side. Off there to Brenzi. Over to Hankins out in front. And Tungate able to make the save. Played back again, Hankins. Hankins, a little open space, another blast. Oh, just missing wide. Reese came very close to getting her second of the match. Ryan Moore trying to dig it out. Red team staying with it. Another save there from Maddox Tungate. Over there to Lincoln Hare, unable to clear. And goes back to Tungate again. He makes another save with 6.40. Left before halftime. Sending it out there to Hare. Knocked down by Hankins. Hankins, another blast blocked out in front. White team getting a little poke there from Lania Brumley. Red team setting it back up again. Touch from Maniac over to Hankins. 
on the far wall, back to Tungate again. Red team's got the majority of the ball so far in this match. And played back to center. Touch there from Brenzi. Over to Hankins. Hankins breaking back. Blocked out in front, Hankins staying with it. Hankins another opportunity off the wall. Another touch out in front might have an injury stoppage. Like Lincoln Hare a little dinged up there on the white side. Red team will take this time to make a substitution as well as Braxton Baker will check back in. Brooklyn Baker also checking in. We'll take a quick timeout here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Brian Rosak, Jerry Dupay back here on the South Union Township Sports Network, our third of three underway. The red team, a two to nothing lead over the white team. Goals from Brooklyn Baker and Reese Hankins. The red team seeing the majority of the ball in this match so far. Ryan Moore trying to dig it out. Matthew Mahoney also over there as they try to work it down the far wall. Red team looking for a little poke out in front. Maddox Tungate, another save there for the white side. Tungate takes it off on the far wall. Play there by Landon Maniac. Maniac trying to work there in front of Matthew Mahoney. Looking for the centering opportunity, and the red team gets another goal. This one scored by Braxton Baker. So Brooklyn Baker got one earlier. Braxton Baker a goal here. Reese Hankins also has scored in this match. And it's three to nothing. Red team over the white team. 4-10 left here in the first half. Mentioned the white team had an injury earlier and it looks like they got another player coming in here that was originally playing for the orange team due to the fact they were a little short-handed. I suppose to try to double check at halftime and find out who that is. Ryan Moore trying to dig it out. That was Lincoln Hare, I believe, that went down earlier. And the orange team scheduled to play next, and I guess with the white team shorthanded, they got a loner from the orange team for the remainder of this match after Harris' injury. Braxton Baker battling along the wall. Circled back there from Brenzi. Touched up by Mahoney. White team unable to clear. Another collision. Slow in getting up there. Braxton Baker for the red team got a little dinged up. 245 left here in the first half. And I think the substitute player that the white team got on alone also got dinged up. They're dropping like flies here today, unfortunately. Three injuries already here in the first half. And the Loner player went down. Hopefully he's all right. So the white team suffered two injuries here in the first half. Clock stopped, 231. 
After in the first half of the match, white team actually down a player right now. Only have five on the field, red team with six. And I think just to, I thought to even things up, they might, we might go four on four as far as on the field with one goalie. Looks like the white team's just gonna play one short for now. They can find another loner out there to come out and play the rest of the match. As the red team's controlled most of the ball, white team playing a little shorthanded. Play back to Riley Klink. Pressure there from O'Reilly Patterson. Tough sometimes you don't have the numbers. Braxton Baker, another shot. Max Tungate making the save. One fifty left until halftime. Ball angled wide here on the near side. Brooklyn Baker trying to dig it out. Along with Riley Klink. Baker staying with it. Touched up to Braxton Baker. Braxton low shot, go actually right through the box. Still on the wall. Baker trying to get back at it. Another save there from Tungate. 111 left here in the first half. Tungate sending it out to Haraley Patterson. Patterson battling Riley Klinkle on the far side. Patterson trying to stay with it. Ryan Moore, a little push ahead. Again, with the white team being down on numbers here today, haven't seen a lot of action in the red team zone. Aubrey Long hasn't gotten too many looks. Maybe an opportunity here. Out in front, Ryan Moore along the safe. Still loose, a little poke there from Brooklyn Baker. 30 seconds left here in the first half. Rush back, Braxton Baker. Really, Patterson trying to slow down the rush, tied up along the near wall. Getting played back to center. Brooklyn Baker there, low ball. Chip back again by Haraley Patterson. Three seconds left. And that one just sent wide. So three to nothing here at halftime. Red team over the white team. We're back with the second half in just a moment here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Esophageal reflux affects 20% of Americans and can lead to heartburn, regurgitation, chest pain, and difficulty swallowing. Reflux is caused by stomach contents passing a faulty valve and entering the esophagus. Ulcers and precancerous tissue can then form. Offer the latest testing and treatment for reflux disease. SWGI, specialists in digestive health. Kessler's Furniture at 601 Pittsburgh Street, Uniontown has been in business since 1950 and has a wide variety of furniture for all of your needs. At Chessler's, they have a wide assortment of living room recliners, kitchen sets, bedroom mattresses and accessories that can decorate your home for years to come. Choose from many companies including Lazy Boy, Best, King Hickory, Hammery, Lancer, Wildwood, Von Bassett and White Dove. Chessler's also services what they sell. Stop into Chessler's Fine Furniture, Route 51 north of Uniontown, and see Kim, Christy, Ted, and Rich. They'll be happy to help you with all of your needs. Chessler's Furniture, where customers send their friends. I'm Rozak, Jerry Dupay, back here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Second half underway, our third of three here in the eight and under division. Red team, a three to nothing lead over the white team. Goals from Reese Hankins, Braxton Baker, and Brooklyn Baker. 
So far, Addison Frazee, the new goalie for the red team. Aubrey Long saw time and goal during the first half. Maddox Tungate still in goal on the white side. And the white team did get that loner player back from the orange team. Still did not get confirmation on his name. And also back out there, Lincoln Hare as well, who was injured. So good to see both of the players that went down in the first half back out in the field for the white team here for the second half as they trail three to nothing. Old deflection going wide of Tungate. Ryan Moore goes to the wall there with Luke Brenzi. Centered out in front. I think the ball was touched there by Tungate outside the box. If that was the case. It'll be a free kick here for the red team. And it was. And they'll try to go quickly here, but I think too quickly. Space was not granted. We'll get another free kick opportunity. We got confirmation that loner player Chase Zahila. So Zahila wearing the orange jersey for the white team. Pick that up off of our orange roster. And Zahila stepping in with a little poke. And coming back here, Reese Hankins. 10 minutes left in the second half. Red team, three first half goals. Rayleigh Patterson, a little pressure there on Hankins. 10 on 10. Still going at it on the far side. Mason Zebro backing up. And Zebro getting a little bit of the ball here. Touch forward to Luke Brenzi. Brenzi trying to break back. Slow down there by Lincoln Hare. Going to the near wall with Ryan Moore. Red team staying with it. Zebro sending it through. Chase Zahila going to the far wall. A little collision there with Hankins. Hankins still down on the play. Been a rough game. It's about the fourth injury we've seen. Still early on here in the second half. Red team will have a free kick. They'll bring Brooklyn Baker back into the game. Brooklyn had a goal back in the first half. Waiting for the resumption here. Little line drive. Went off the near wall into the corner. Brooklyn will look to dig it out. Slow down there by Zahila. Taking to the near sun. Little touch up in front and the goal sent in. I think it was Mason Zebro that got it. Brooklyn Baker was also on the doorstep. I don't think Brooklyn got a piece of it though. Mason with the goal. It's four to nothing. Red team over the white team. White team making a couple of switches here. Putting Haraley Patterson on the front line to resume. A little kick into the far corner. Red team trying to dig it out. Reese Hankins. A little touch ahead. Off there to Patterson. Slid back to Moore. Up to Mahoney. Touched along by Lincoln Hare. Over to Patterson. Brooklyn Baker, another touch. Up the field to Hankins. Little fan there from Zahila. Another hard collision. Brooklyn Baker going down again. Wow. Players giving it their all on both sides here today. 7-18 left in regulation. Another free kick up coming. Baker to take it. Little blast. The Gila knocks it down out in front. Now Chase going to the far wall. Baker also there again looking to center. Brooklyn able to send it down out in front. Little chip off the wall and cover there again by Maddox Tungate. They get off the far side of Patterson. 
Another whistle. Red team makes a few more changes. Landon Maddox, Maniac, excuse me, back into the game. 6.35 left here in the second half. Red team breaking back. Slow down there by Patterson. Zahila went down. Ball rolling back towards Tungate. Getting a little help there from Lincoln Hare, trying to angle it wide. Hare a little touch back. Ball comes loose out in front, sent off the near wall. And by Braxton Baker. Brooklyn Baker back on the ball. Brooklyn out in front. Zahila trying to slow it down. Diving attempt there from Riley Klink. Going off the far side, Orion Moore. Back again to Braxton. Broken up there by Zahila. Work back up the field. 540 left here in the second half. The red team spread around the goals. Brooklyn Baker a goal, Mason Zebro a goal, Braxton Baker a goal, and Reese Hankins also has scored on the red side. Good to see contributions from multiple sources. This is our third of three. Opening match, 9-2, Royal Blue over the pink. Michael Hardison scored six, Charlie Skaronski three, and that one for the Royal Blue team. Second match, green team 6-1 win over the light blue team, and there's a good opportunity for the white team here, and they'll get their first goal of the match to make it 4-1. That goal scored by Ryan Moore. So Moore getting a goal, make it four to one. Mentioning in our second of three matches, Connell Stevenson had a hat trick for the green team in that six to one win for the green over the light blue. It's now four to one. Red over the white. And tied up along the wall. And covered there by Tungate. A little free kick, Brooklyn Baker to take it. Brooklyn a little poke. We didn't have a great view of it, but I don't think something legal occurred there. And a whistle back down. We get another free kick this time. Tungate, touched along by Brumley, sent down the field again to Moore. Moore ready with one, looking for number two. Blocked down on the centering attempt. Dehila trying to slow down the rush. Baker stepping in. Going wide again, Zebro. Touch back to Dehila. He'll again going low with 3.15 to play. Still 4-1, to one, red team over the white team. Brian Morozak alongside Jerry Dupe here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Brooklyn Baker coming back here for the red side. A tongue in goal. Maddox making the save. And we'll send it out. Mason Zebro back down along the far wing. Reese Hankins. The new goalie now for the red team as they make a change. And another goal out in front is it going to count. Yes, it will. I think it was Braxton Baker that got a piece of it. And now five to one. Red team over the white team. Two ten left. Lania Brumley gets the resumption underway. Over to Ryan Moore. Down on the far side of Maniac. White team trying to reverse the field here a little bit with Matthew Mahoney. Touched over to Brumley. 
Red team again trying to break back. Zahila there. I'll poke going through the box. Lincoln Heron able to knock it down. And I'll take it to the far side. Zahila another poke. 128 to play. Reset there by Aubrey Long. And a lob back in for the sixth goal of the match for the red team. With 75 seconds left. Final 50 seconds. Little touch there from Brumley. Red team trying to break back. Nice little block out in front there from Tungate. 30 seconds left. Maddox to release. Far side to Hareli Patterson. Down there to Klink. Sent wide to Ryan Moore. Seven seconds left. Lincoln Hare knocked down by Zebro. And that'll do it. Six to one, your final score. Red team defeats the white team. This afternoon's games were brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring Township Supervisors Bob Schiff Bauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, Atlantic Broadband, Armstrong Cable, and our friends at CU TV, including Gary Smith. I'm Brian Morozak with Jerry Dupay. This has been a South Union Township Sports Network presentation.